Hi, this is Jennifer Simonetti Bryan, or Jedi Wine Master on Twitter, and here I have some food and wine pairing tips for you. Here I have a uh, sloppy joe, which is a truly American dish. I got it from, uh, printed it off from the Food Network. I got it from uh, Rachel Ray's 30 Minute Meals. It's fantastic. I love those because they're super fast and we're all very busy. So, but this could be a little bit difficult to pair with because it's got a little bit of sweetness to it, but I'm going to give you some tips. Tip number one, match weight with weight. This is a little bit richer of a dish. It's richer than chicken or anything like that, So, um, but it's not super, super rich, so you don't want to go too heavy. So what I paired it with is with the uh, Ventisquero Carmenere. Carmenere can be anywhere from medium body to medium plus bodied. Sometimes when it's blended with cab, it can be really full bodied, but um, generally it's the medium, medium plus area. So tip number one, like I said, match body with body. Tip number two, you want to create some bridges, uh, flavor bridges on what's in the wine and what's in the dish. Because this is a very meaty dish, um, Carbonara is actually a good pair because it's got some meaty and grilled meat tones, and that's what it's known for. It's got a certain meatiness to it. So that will actually pull some of that flavor out of the dish. Also, this dish has some brown sugar in it, which is a little bit of, a little sweet, and you also have uh, red peppers and onions. Um, all those things can bring out some of the sweetness in the wine, and this is the red peppers and the onions will bring out some of the richness in the in the fruit, the sweetness in the fruit. Uh, so you taste some like black cherry fruit in there, and the brown sugar um, is going to bring out some of the oak flavors in the wine. Now this one, the Ventisquero Carbonara, actually has been aged in American oak, and American oak can have some kind of sweet vanilla tones, and that can also also taste like. Uh, caramel, so kind of brown sugary, so that'll create that bridge. So that's tip number two, create some bridges, also known as complementing. Tip number three, tip number three, you want to make sure that you're matching price and price. Sloppy Joe's is not a really uh, high-end dish, it's, it's relatively inexpensive, and this wine that I paired it with is $11.99, so I just bought it, very good value, so you may want to do that. So like I said, match weight with weight, Make sure you're creating some compliments and some bridges. And the third thing, you want to match price with price. So I hope you enjoyed those tips, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Cheers.